in every family there is a rule to abide by. In the 2007 comedy drama, you had to follow George's rule. Or have to eat soap. Your choice. Directed by Gary Marshall, the director of Pretty Woman and One Eye Bride. George Orwell is probably one of his less happy-go-lucky feel-good films. This one focused more on a broken family and a mother-daughter, Felicity Huffman and Lizzie Lohan, who never seem to get along. So she drops her daughter off at her grandmother's, played by Jane Fonda, where they discover why the granddaughter is so aggressive. This film deals with alcoholism, trauma, and other family dysfunctions that reflect on a lack of mother's affection. What I find so beautiful about this is that Despite their problems, they all learn to accept each other's differences. The movie had bad ratings from critics, but praised the performances. I don't care though, the story and cast is excellent. Every time I defend Lindsay Lohan as a good actress, I always mention her in this movie. The three lead actresses work great off of each other, resulting in some occasional laughs and some really powerful moments revolving around their family feud. Jane Fonda, who won an Academy Award for lead actress in Coming Home, was just one of her many great performances. And Felicity Huffman, who's been nominated for an Oscar, who's given probably her best performance of her career in Transamerica, and in which she was nominated for. Lancy Lohan, singer, songwriter, and actress, got attention in the spotlight in her first film, Parent Trap, where her career would propel from there. she would be cast in many really good movies, but the reason why they were good is on behalf of her also. You also have an amazing supporting cast, Garrett Hedlund, who's in some of my favorite films, Country Strong, and Death Sentence. And Dermot Moroni, people may recognize him from My Best Friend's Wedding. And Carrie Elwes, but he plays a little scumbag in this one. Any fans of the cast or Gary Marshall, you should definitely give this movie a chance. It really shows his talent as a director, and for the cast as well. If you have seen Georgia Roll, what's your thoughts?